Hey guys, I'm back for step two. I didn't think I was going to do this, but I'm going to because I figured it'd be helpful. So we started apple cider vinegar about mm, 10 days, two weeks ago, something like that. And we're ready for the next step. And I thought I'm going to bring you guys the entire process of making your own apple cider vinegar. So I have two half gallon jars here. See my pickle pebbles has slipped from all the bubbles. But can you see inside? Still pretty active. So today we are going to strain off and see how much we've got and then I'll tell you what am I going to do next. Okay so I just have a little sieve and my funnel over a quart jar. Let's see if I can carefully strain some of this. If you missed the um, step one, I'll link it here in the video and at the end in one of the I cards so you can go back and watch step one of this process. So I'm just going to go to like a half an inch or a full inch of head space. There we have the start. Smells quite fermented. Okay. Whoops. Here's jar two. You hear the bubbles? Still working away. Alrighty, I ended up with two full quarts and one half quart. Give it a taste. Kind of tastes like apple wine at this point, so we just need to let it go to vinegar. And I've just took, I've got tattler lids, but without the rubber seal. I'm just gonna set them on. And we will now let this go. It is November 10th now. I'll probably check it every two weeks from here on out. So I'll check it again. Um, probably right at, around the end of the month. See if it's turned into that good vinegar taste. Once it's at the vinegar flavor that I'm expecting for apple cider vinegar, I'll just take my seals, seal it up, and we will store it in the pantry shelves. So that's the next step. If you're following along on this, how to make your own apple cider vinegar from home. So thanks for coming back. Again, I'm going to link, not link, uh, yes, link step one um, somewhere in here. And then this is step two. Next time, step three, we'll come back and we'll take a look at the final product together. And all of these goodies, just compost them. Don't know if I'll feed them to the chickens or not, or I'll probably end up with some drunk chickens. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll probably just compost them. Thanks guys for coming along. Hope you guys are getting creative in your kitchen where you are. Talk to you later.